And the Sims team was so, so close this time to restoring some of players' lost faith, and they have balked it royally at the last minute. This morning I woke up excited to see if the Crystal Creations walkthrough video had its little waiting time posted yet and instead I was met with controversy over a new button that they're putting into the game which has many a player peeved. Now I thought I'd give my two cents worth even though I am a small fry so... Oh. This note came with today's patch notes. What's new? In this update you might see a new button at the top corner of your screen. Note the might as well, there's been people who say that this has not appeared in their game yet. The theory is maybe if you have all the packs it doesn't show up. At least that was the theory for the first part of the day. We now have extra information to which I cannot find the visuals for so here is some irrelevant but pleasant file footage. Apparently this is only going to show up in certain people's games as it is perhaps a trial at this point in time. I don't know what the selection criteria has been or whether it's at random but it may or may not appear in your game because apparently they are testing, testing, one, two, three. So this cart emblazoned button, which is a point of contempt in itself because this thing flashes like Walter White after coming out of a supposed fugue state, except it doesn't stop apparently. So once again, new information has come in since I recorded the first part of this, which suggests that the Sims team are now claiming that the flashing is actually a bug. There is some controversy once again over whether this is a crock of bollocks or whether it's true but let me just draw your attention to the word emblazoned. Emblazon means to conspicuously inscribe or display a design. Similar adorn, decorate, ornament, embellish, illuminate, colour, paint. Emblazoned means marked or shown in order to be very noticeable. So make of that what you will. But in any case most players who have the button are finding out that the flashing will not stop. There is some fix-its apparently, which is the old IT crowd. Turn it off and on again, log back in. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to make of all this anymore. Lordy, lordy, lordy. This cart emblazon button has many uses ranging from sharing pack office and sales information to recommending packs you might be interested in. All accessible without leaving the comfort of your sims homes. Radio, so why are people miffed about this? Well, this is just like a, a symbol, if you will, Batman styles, being shouted out to the rooftops. Yes, we are money hungry. Yes, it's a cash grab. And we don't care if we're going to destroy your immersion within your game. We're going to remind you that that what we want from you most is your simoleons. That is kind of the consensus going round. To me, it is wholeheartedly unnecessary. I don't know your purchase style myself. I'm sure there are many different ones out there, but I always put thought into buying packs. Before I do, even if it's some old stuff pack from many moons ago, I still do my research. I still make a little deal out of buying things. This isn't a checkout zone. I'm not going to throw an extra candy bar into my basket just because it's there looking at me. To me, the real issue though that I will find if I find this bad boy emblazoning it itself in the top right corner of my screen. It, it's incongruous with the feel of the game and this really plays into the nasty direction that The Sims 5 seems to be taking. To be fair this seems like it's targeted more towards new players perhaps. Even then though. But the point of the game and the feel of the game should be to immerse yourself in the world, to switch off everything and to create your own little world that we at least try to buy into for most of the time. Yes the bugs and glitches take us out of immersion but this, this button is just, to me, it just takes you out of the world and the nature of it, the urgency. I mean, even the kits aren't cheap enough just to, you know, buy one on a whim, at least not if you're in my country, which you might have heard me complain about before. But I think the other thing is that they've, once again, it's just proving that whoever is making some of these decisions really doesn't know their fan base at all anyway. So let's look at this gem fest here. This is what it's going to look like apparently. Packs you may like, F6. So I've heard rumours that Perhaps some modders are working on a mod to take this bad boy away. Wheel the trolley cart, put it back out in the bay. Sounds like a good idea to me. Obviously, poor console players are once again given yield shaft, but I really do think it's 
the highlighted nature of it. That is distracting. And there's a lot of people that aren't able to switch off to that sort of thing as well. We also have this. You've seen it all. I seriously doubt that. You think you've seen it all and then you see something else. Check back again soon. In the meantime, be sure to visit the main menu for more pack and kit details. So is this what happens like after they've given you their delightful suggestions on what they think you're going to like, which is actually a little bit scary come to think of it. Are they mining more of our data? Well, we know they kind of do. I just hope it's numbers on a sheet and that's all. You know what I mean? Anyway, some people won't give a fig about this. Some it'll annoy to Timbuktu. Some of us will get used to it. I don't know. But it just seems to be in poor taste, I suppose, at the end of the day. And it's got a lot of people just fed up with it. And they're just so close to hitting a home run with Chris creations or potentially unless the thing is glitched to Bilio and beyond but people were pretty stoked for it there wasn't many complaints there <laughs> and they, this is just terrible timing they haven't read the room at all anyway I just thought I'd give my two cents on that just bring up the topic I'll be back with some crystal creation stuff soon and hopefully we can get a little bit more positivity going have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be and I shall see you in the next one bye